South Korea has successfully developed a long-range surface-to-air missile just by using domestic technology. This means the new missile can strike enemy targets at higher altitudes. Our correspondent PNG explains more. A missile precisely hits a target. This is a video released by South Korea's Defense Ministry, which announced Friday that it has successfully developed a long-range surface-to-air missile, also known as LSAM. The new missile system aims to shoot down North Korea missiles at higher altitudes, as it's said to be capable of striking targets at altitudes of 40 to 70 kilometers. It will contribute to the country's layered missile defense capabilities, along with the U.S. Patriot Advanced Capability 3 and the domestically developed Cheonggung 2, which intercept targets at altitudes lower than 40 kilometers. Since 2015, the country spent over $850 million developing this new missile system. The chief researcher who led the development said the LSAM will be able to strengthen the combat power of South Korea's military. With the development of the upper layer defense system LSAM, along with the lower layer defense system Cheonggung 2, we will establish a Korean multi layer missile defense system by only using domestic technology. At a ceremony on Friday to mark the completion of the missile's development, Defense Minister Kim Yong-hyun delivered a strong warning message to North Korea. The ELSAM will act as our guardian and deterrent, protecting the lives and property of Koreans. Even in the case of a missile attack from North Korea, it will not be able to break our military's strong defense system, and the North will face a much greater cost and end to its own regime. President Yoon suk yeol also sent a congratulatory message, calling the development a groundbreaking advancement in the Korean missile defense system to counter North Korea's nuclear missile threats. The military plans to start manufacturing LSAM next year and deploy it operationally in the mid to late 2020s. Pae Eun-ji, Arirang News.